In today's video, I'm going to be playing some Fortnite with the brand new four paddle collective mind strike pack. So at this point, collective minds has two different strike packs for the PS4 controller. They have the old strike pack that we all know and love. And then we have the brand new strike pack. Now, as you can see, this doesn't actually have paddles. This is actually four different circular buttons. So popping it onto the controller and it actually looks like the buttons sit in a pretty comfortable spot. I think just using our middle finger for the top and our ring fingers for the bottom paddles and that actually feels pretty comfortable now this is kind of just a first look at the four paddle strike pack i'm just gonna go over my first impressions and kind of how this thing works i'm gonna save a more detailed video where i actually try to get used to this thing and completely switch over to four paddles for a different future video i know some of you are wondering how i got it to work on pc it didn't work through scp toolkit so i did go back and i used the steam method that i did way back i'll link the tutorial right up here but i did some tinkering with it and after about 30 to 40 minutes i finally got it to work in fortnite however as soon as i saw that i was able to use the paddles and use the controller i stopped right there because i didn't want to try it out without recording a video for you guys all right i've just got in game and i've set my paddles so my top left is jump my top right is edit my bottom right is my pickaxe and my bottom left is my confirm so first kind of feel building around it doesn't actually feel all that different from my other strike pack simply because i still have the two upper paddles set to exactly what my other binds were so a first kind of overall feel is that they don't feel all that different i actually thought that i wouldn't like the button feel as much as i liked the paddle feel and while it does still feel a little awkward it's not nearly as bad as i anticipated i definitely think i'd be able to get used to it pretty quickly now where i find i'm struggling and I just don't have any muscle memory built up is when I go to try to incorporate those bottom two paddles with my pickaxe and resetting I just don't have any muscle memory built up so it's really confusing and I definitely am going to have to practice that more the buttons are definitely very clicky so I'm really not sure what binds I should be using for these. I don't really need my confirm bind on this. I already have my confirm bind on L3. And I guess my pickaxe is cool to have, but if there's something more useful that you think I could be using on these bottom two paddles, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. I did have one idea. Way back months and months ago, I made a couple tutorials on how to use mouse and keyboard scroll wheel reset as well as setting a weapon slot to a controller bind using steam and as i mentioned at the beginning of this video i am using the steam method to get this four power strike pack to work so i could go do some tinkering and i could actually set like this button to go straight to my shotgun slot and maybe i could set like this button to scroll wheel reset so let me know if that's something that you'd like to see for a future video i think that could definitely be really cool but for now let's keep playing with this four paddle strike pack one other thing and i think my biggest concern with this so far is that right there it just happened i think i'm pressing my edit button and then my r2 to select too fast because sometimes as you might be able to see somewhere right here my edits aren't actually going through but i'm clicking my edit button now this is a big issue that i had with the dualshock 4 back button attachment it seemed that whenever i wanted to edit a lot simultaneously such as a triple edit that happened and for some reason my edit wouldn't go through now this definitely might just be me getting used to the buttons but right off the bat that is definitely something that i noticed that is a little bit annoying so one last thing that i wanted to try was actually a question that i got asked on twitter a while back i made a video on how to set a paddle to function as two different buttons i'll link that in the top right hand corner but someone basically asked if you could do the same thing on the four paddle strike pack so i guess let's give it a shot it's pretty straightforward all you do is hold the button whose paddle you want to map so i'm going to do my bottom left and then i'm going to go ahead and click my reset bind as well as my confirm bind at the same time so if everything works properly now i should be able to edit and then all i have to do to reset is click my edit button and then click this paddle and it looks like it does work it does function you can set it as two different buttons so instead of me clicking my edit button my reset button and then my confirm button i can simply click edit and then i can click this paddle which will reset it and confirm it So 
So now I just have a two paddle reset and I can reset very quickly. I definitely say that's worthy of taking up one of my four buttons. So I've played with it a little bit. You kind of get the gist of it. And for those of you that care about mods, I don't personally use them, but this strike pack is capable of using mods as you can see if we head over to mod central and click on it you are able to use all the rapid fires and whatever else is here so that's the first look at the four paddle strike pack like i said i'll be doing some more in-depth playing and testing in a future video i need to give myself a few weeks playing with this thing regularly to actually get used to it so as always thank you guys so much for watching if you did make it to the end it'd be greatly appreciated if you click that like button as well subscribe for more future content and i hope to see you guys in a future video